Many web designers that I've spoken to over the last few years will tell you there's one thing that frustrates them more than anything else, and that is writing brief documents for projects. It's long, laborious. I should know I've done this thousands of times, and I've been crying out for a way of making this process streamlined, polished, more enjoyable, without cutting corners on detail and quality. Well, after a few sleepless nights, I'm glad to be able to share with you my strategy for how I've been able to take our full formal brief process that we run at Pixel Hate Studio and condense it into a format I can create a professional brief in under 15 minutes. That's 10 minutes to interview and have a chat with a client and five minutes using ChatGPT to streamline converting the discussion into document format. That used to take me two hours and that's not even taken into account the time needed to motivate me to get into the mindset to write brief documents in the first place. We can run this as part of a start of our web design workshop with the client in the room. We get all the information from them and we can let their jaw drop to the ground when we provide them with an AI brief in return. I've got two ways of doing this. One free way using the free version of ChatGPT and free Otter AI and a second version where we again will use Otter AI free account and this time we're going to use the pro version of ChatGPT within which we have built our own GPT engine that we're happy to share with you to run on your project. I bet like me you're itching to get going with it so let's go over and take a look at how this works. Before we take a look at the brief, let's have a quick scan over this prompt that I've added in ready to save us some time. This prompt's available on our Pixel Haze Academy store for a one-off purchase. Alternatively, it is available with our VIP plan, so our lifetime membership. You can also create your own prompt based on the brief document, but this one is tried and tested. I've done a bit of work on it to make sure everything is working as it should be as well. It's also quite condensed just to save a bit of space, and I've got two sections at the bottom. One note to say that I'm going to be pasting the conversation transcript afterwards because ChatGPT was being a little bit unruly where it was starting to answer the question based on having next and no information. And in these square brackets here, the one prompt that we need to do is to put in our company contact details. They're much harder to get across in a transcript, things like company names. So by putting them in here, most of the time it will correct any inaccuracies in the transcript that we create. Speech to text is not 100% accurate without having someone going through and proving it. So this should fix things like it having the address wrong, email address wrong, and it's long and laborious to ask our client to answer all of those when we've got the information anyway. What I'm going to do is jump across to this hosting a website that I'm building at the moment. And this is a new template that we're creating. So it's a fictional company, so we can use these details in this example. And what I'm going to do is just go to the bottom here and just copy the details here. And it's going to be Dan Richards. There we are, that'll be the name of the contact. So I'm going to paste the contact details in that bracket. That's our fictional owner or main contact in this company. And now we're ready to hit the send message on here. And it probably won't work this time. Oh, it did. Great. That's just given me the prompt that it's understood this information. And now it's ready for us to put the transcript in. But we need to create it first. So I'm going to jump across to Otter, our other free tool. Hit the record button. And I'm going to speed this up so you don't have to sit and listen to me going through the entire brief process. But you can see what's going on. <laughs> As we can see, it's already started recording. So I'm going to stop talking now and jump straight through to the brief process. So that's now created our transcript. So we're gonna start from here, so we don't need to copy all of this bit at the top here. And now we're gonna go all the way down here. We probably don't need that last section as well. I don't think it will be the end of the world if you pasted it in. I think ChatGPT is confident enough and smart enough to ignore that. So now we're gonna paste our transcript just as we've got it into here. And then hopefully it will do the magic. So this is what it's created. And it's really quick too. So how much more fun is that than going through and writing a formal document yourself? Of course, you can take this and bring it into another channel. So if I was to copy this, paste it into our document here, so I'm just gonna create a new page and I'm gonna paste that as an example. It's already put it in the right format, but we can change it to headings and subheadings if we want to. But ultimately I can tweak it as well. So it's UK language. In fact, I could put that into the prompt to use UK English or British English instead of US. Obviously that'll depend on where you are approaching this from. We can go through, tidy it up. And I wouldn't do this without the client being present because it's so quick. I would do it with the client there. It's a great way of impressing them so early in the project. What we're doing here is getting the valuable information out of our client's heads when they're busy people and we want to do this as efficiently as possible. And then we want to get this into a formal document that you can keep, you can send to your client. So this holds both parties to account. But not only that is it provides us loads of information to start generating website content. So this is fantastic. It's got a nice summary at the end. I made sure in the prompt in the latest version I updated to that it creates a one to two paragraph executive summary based on the information. And the rest is just easily accessible bullet point information. Of course, we can go through here if we want to format it a little bit and make these bold. But that's really up to you how much time you want to spend formatting it. 
For me, it's about the speed and the efficiency of creating a document that holds us to account more than anything else. If we jump back to ChatGPT, I did promise at the start that we would have a look at a couple of different examples as well. Now we've got the content in here, we can start following up with questions. So give me some suggestions for signposting. So it's giving you all the different signpost styles. Not quite what I was after. I want three or four image blocks. So just making sure it knows that we're talking about the same content as what we created the brief. I've actually provided a better example here. Perfect. Here are some examples of how we can link off signposts when we link from, for example, our homepage to multiple pages. So we can have an image block and a title, maybe even a summary or an overlay for each of them. Our work, so case study section, that's tried and tested. Eco-friendly benefits, so we could add a page on environmental impact or why should you choose solar. Customer testimonials, create a homepage example now. We're going to create a hero, that's our main banner at the top. Then we're going to have intro paragraph. So instead of creating a welcome tagline, we're going to use something that's USP based. In our intro paragraph, what we're going to have after that signpost to installation and support. So that'll be our two signposts. Then I like the testimonials. And if, for example, this company had an energy savings calculator from a provider, or it's something that we could create as part of the project as a little add on, that's quite a nice idea to put in our concept. We'd have to run this by the client first. So we're going to put in. Those are the two accreditation. You don't have to do this, but it's just a really quick way of getting an example for a homepage that we can use, even if it's just placeholder content in our website whilst we're just finalizing it. But once we've got our brief in here, it makes it much easier to do everything else. I'll put up an Instagram feed. There we go. So obviously it's going to give you a written version of the homepage, not creating a wireframe on the fly, but I will often do this in a workshop with a client and then we'll wireframe from this. The beauty of doing it this way is it's not too constraining because it's not showing us how it should look. It's giving us examples of content. So from minute one, the content really comes to life. If the content is too cheesy, that's fine. We can work with that and refine it going forward. But here's how we can take this prompt, add contact details, then add our transcript of the conversation we have with the client, then going through to it creating a formal brief for us. Then we can have an idea for the types of signposts that would work for this page. And then finally, we ask it to create an example of the homepage. We can ask for multiple variations, so we can put these in front of the client and then see what fits for them. We can then jump straight in and start working on one of our website templates, like this one here, and then seeing what content fits and adjusting the templates to fit the content and to fit the client requirements. So here are two examples here of alternative signposting where we've got solar installations and battery storage, but obviously we've got the after sales and support is another alternative for it as well. Then we've got the section on energy independence. We've got the testimonials. So we can see there's a pattern on most of these type of websites, and it's just about how do we make them look wholly unique. This template will soon be available on Pixel Haze Academy store as well. That's enough for me for today. Hope you enjoyed. I have to be honest, I enjoy every single time we go through this process because I just remember how much longer it used to take me. I'll see you next time. Cheers.